McKin- it, Hey, it's me, Mackenzie Marie. I'm getting liposuction. I'm getting liposuction. I'm actually quite terrified to make this video because I feel like the, the stigmas around getting liposuction are literally awful, horrendous, horrible. My body has always fluctuated up and down my entire life. Although I did all these fitness journeys and I, you know, I would under eat and I would, you know, go in this crazy calorie deficit, I still wouldn't be able to lose fat in specific parts of my body that I wanted. You can work out, you can eat healthy, but there's one thing that you can't change and that's spot reducing. Spot reducing is not a thing. It just doesn't exist. I have always had really thick thighs like that, you know, the little lump on the bottom of like women's stomach, the little pouch it's called. I've always had that fat. I don't want that. I decided that regardless of what my friends told me, regardless of what the internet thinks and the stigmas around getting liposuction, I decided I'm doing it for me. And I don't care what anyone thinks. I just want to make that blunt. I making this video for the girls out there that you know they want liposuction because they can't spot reduce and because they're insecure getting liposuction isn't just you know sucking a little bit of fat out of my body it's literally gaining the confidence that I've never had in my entire life I want that confidence I deserve that confidence it's 2021 I'm gonna go get that confidence now I'm getting liposuction tomorrow morning at 6 a.m. and I'm so I got a call this morning from one of the nurses at the facility that I'm getting my lipo done at and she told me that tonight I have to just basically eat like a good meal tomorrow morning I'm gonna have breakfast she did warn me that I am gonna need to go to the clinic with like really like dark sweatpants so I like stopped at Walmart I got myself some like Regular just like sweatpants if they get disgusting throw them away because I am going to be leaking I also got like a dark zip down hoodie like this like nothing crazy just like stuff to be comfortable in I completely forgot to mention the places that I'm getting my liposuction done at I'm getting my full abdomen which is top ab lower abs my hips and my waist I'm also getting my inner thighs done my thighs touch so much that anytime I wear shorts, a dress, a skirt, my thighs chafe and it leaves like a rash. TMI, I don't care, but like, th like there's gonna be girls out here that can relate to this. Like I know there's gonna be girls out here that can relate to this. I don't wanna chafe anymore. I wanna wear skirts, I wanna wear dresses, I wanna wear shorts, and I wanna look hot this summer. Waist, lower ab, upper ab, back here. My surgery's in 12 hours and I'm just like so, so excited. Like I've been waiting to do this for so long. I'm just so happy, I'm just so happy. I'm not ashamed, I'm not embarrassed. I'm just ready to get it done. It's 5 a.m. right now. I am setting up my bed for when I get back because well, obviously I'm not gonna be able to walk that much put a towel down because i did not get a tarp and i do not want to like ruin my bedding so i have like this like cheap blanket and then i'm gonna have like the towel and then i'm gonna have i'll just have like my regular blankets and yeah i'm gonna go get ready eat some food and be on my way so I got to my appointment. The first thing I did when I walked in was I had to take a pee test to make sure I wasn't on drugs or anything. And then they gave me these little like robe and then like underwear and panty set that I had to put on. By the way, I had to wear my mask the entire time that I was in this, but everything was good. After that, I got an IV put into my arm. The doctor came in, he drew on my body, made sure everything was good. And then they gave me some medicine to make me relaxed. Then they took me back to the surgery room. They gave me laughing gas when they injected the lidocaine in me. I was awake during the entire procedure and my surgery was three hours long. And this is all of the fat that they took out of me, which was two liters. They put me in a Faha and then they sent me to the recovery room. After 15 minutes, I got in my car and I was on my way home. I am hurting. Your girl got it done. Um, there was a complication though, because they took out, um, two liters of fat i have to go back in again next week to get my thighs done because they took so much fat out on a pain level from like one to ten i'm at a probably like a five right now it hurts i don't know how people are like no it doesn't hurt like 
this hurt. My mom's driving my car for the first time. I told her put it in autopilot because she's never driven a car in autopilot. So just press down on that side twice. Just push down twice? Twice. Let go of oh the gas. <laughs> How do you feel? Uh, weird. I have this um, complete uh, like faha on right now which is basically a compression garment like you can see. And then they gave me a foam pad that I put um, under it. You can already tell that I'm bruising like, <sighs> definitely swollen, swollen bigger than I was when I got in there. I'm leaking a bunch of the fluid that they injected me during the procedure. I have maxi pads in here to keep it from draining all over the place. It has an opening down here so when I go to the bathroom I don't have to take it off. I was given a goodie bag. All of these little like liner, puppy liner things to like lay on my bed. They gave me some maxi pads to put on like where it's leaking. I was given another foam board as well. I took my first pain pill, which was a Tylenol coating. And I also was prescribed a high dosage of ibuprofen. I'm also gonna be taking antibiotics. Morning one, they gave me coating and I've already had three or four. I can't remember. My pain level is like an eight. Surgery is like brutal. Like this is no joke. Like I was crying last night because it hurt so bad. I was like, I can't move. I can't bend over. I can't pick anything up. I can't pull my pants up. I can't go to the bathroom. I can't get out of bed. Like it's, you know, people don't tell you that, but that's what it's like. Tomorrow I get to take this off for the first time with all the paddings and take a shower because I'm not allowed to shower until then. I just got this device so it makes it easier for me to go to the bathroom, shove it in between there, do my business, pour it out. Every time I have to squat over the toilet, freezing my stomach and it hurts so bad. I got my Amazon packages today. I was gonna show you guys my new Faha, but look at what came in the mail. My friend, bought me this and sent it to my house because I can't grab She bought me this. <gasps> oh my God, Cameron, thank you. I literally been on the phone like, I can't do anything. I can't grab anything. I will be using this. Here's my new Faha. I bought this off of Amazon. It has pads in the shoulders. This one is awesome because it has a zipper from the front all the way to the back and lately it's been hard for me to go to the bathroom so girl when you need to go you need to go brand is m and fahas i just got out the shower and i will admit that the faha was too small so i didn't get to wear it but i got to see my body for the first time and i look so different like the moment i took the compression garment off i was like that doesn't even look like me that's not me. There's no way. But it is me. But I will say that it is all black and blue and yellow and bruised and tender. The entry points are very, very small though. So really happy about that. I know that once they heal, their the scars are just gonna go away. Taking the first shower, that was hard. Like I definitely needed help. They definitely thought I was gonna faint. It was a lot. It was very painful. I'm up. I'm walking around. I did not take a single pain pill today. Feel good. I'm not able to bend over or sit down normally, but I can walk around and it's getting easier to get out of bed today. I took a shower last night. I took off my Faha, washed it for the first time. And um, let me just say, I didn't recognize myself. My stomach looks flat. I have more curves to me. I'm excited to get my thighs done. I'm getting my thighs done in two weeks. Feel good. Like, why am I wearing baggy clothes just to be cozy? But like, I just am so happy with my body last night for the first time in my entire life. I was like, I love my body. I've never been able to say that in my life. Yes, day four, feeling great. Um, I think my swelling is going down a little bit, but still wearing the padding, still wearing the faha. I still have all the like lines on me and stuff, but I'm just like really happy. How many times have I said I'm really happy with my body? I'm like really happy. Here is seven days post-op. 
I am moving around. I can bend over more now. Finally able to like sit in chairs. It's still kind of uncomfortable. I'll be honest. It's still kind of uncomfortable. My body like creases a little bit. Can, don't mind my stain. I have a, another surgery next Wednesday, exactly a week from now. I'm less swollen than I was. This is what the faja looks like now. See, like I'm, I'm more like flat. Although I still have these like foam boards in here that I can't take out yet. And my results are pretty fire. I was told that I could take this suit off in two weeks, but my doctor recommends I wear it for a month. I've heard other girls say I wear it for like two months. Definitely have these curves that I did not have before. My body looks like snatched. Really happy about that. Really happy with my results so far. I ended up taking Trimadol, my doctor prescribing Trimadol, and then like that made me like constipated and that was not fun. You have to wear this suit to go to the bathroom. That's number one and number two, ladies. And gentlemen, if you're watching this and wondering. Here's a couple before and after pictures. So really soak this in. Do what you want with this. Yeah, and that's really the tea. These are not my final results though. I am only one week one week post-op. So I did get a call today from my nurse that was helping me with my last surgery. And now I have to start massaging my body every single day to basically help open up the fluid that was injected in my, the lidocaine that was injected in my body when I did get my surgery. I will say though, if you're the type of person that is like really like weak-minded or you have a, you don't have a high pain threshold, this is not for you. You will be in the surgery room awake with giant rods in your body. You'll be able to see the blood. You'll be able to feel what is going on. Yes, to some degree, it is very painful. You're awake during the process. You're only given uh, laughing gas for like 10 minutes during the entire procedure. My procedure, my surgery, was three hours long. And um, I, in the middle of that surgery, I was like, I hate that I did this. I wish I didn't do this. This is mutilation. This is awful. I am so scared. Like I hated the whole thing. When I was going into it, I thought I knew what it would be like being awake, getting liposuction done, but I had no idea. You don't know until you know. It was scary and terrifying. So if you're one of those people that's like not strong-minded, or doesn't have a high pain tolerance, just don't do this. Out of all the liposuction videos I watched before I decided to get mine done, I never heard anybody warn me like, you know, you're awake with rods inside you and there's gonna be blood everywhere and it's actually surgery and you're awake during it. For me, it was awful getting the surgery done. Um, but now that it's done, would I go back and do it again? Yeah, I would because this is like the results that I've gotten. Is it like exactly what I was going for? I'm just really happy. I'm really, really happy. If you made it this far and you are interested in getting liposuction, I hope this video was able to help you out. If you have any questions about liposuction, um, just leave it down below. I do the best that I can to answer everyone's questions in the comment section below about liposuction. Um, of course, this is my journey and this is what happens to be different for all different people. I hope you did enjoy this video and if you did, make sure to give it a thumbs up, hit the subscribe button down below, click the bell button, turn on your post notifications so you can be notified the next time I upload a new YouTube video because I want you to be here first. And if you want to, you can follow me over on Instagram, TikTok, Twitter, or Twitch at Mackenzie Marie because when I'm not over here, I'm definitely over there and you should be too. For more updates on my liposuction journey, I'm gonna be posting those on my TikTok and my Instagram, so make sure you definitely are following those. I love you guys so much and I will see you here in my next video. Toodles!